Hi, today we're going to make spice fijoa chutney. I thought with fijoas and seasoning, this would be a good opportunity to use some up. So first we need three chopped onions and I've got a kilo of fijoas here that I've washed. You don't need to take the skins off, we just have to top and tail them. So just like... <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut those into probably about four pieces. So just need to do that with all your fijoas and we're going to chop up three onions, three to four, I'm going to choose to do three. Okay, so that's a kilo of fijoas all chopped up, so we need to pop them in the pot. And that's my onions chopped up. If you don't want to chop them, you could put them in the kitchen whiz and dice them up that way. And we need one cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, we need one cup of malt vinegar and we need two cups of apple cider vinegar. And then we need two teaspoons of mixed spice. If you wanted to make this hotter, spicier, you could just add your spicy Indian spices, but I'm just going to make it nice and mild. Two of ginger and one of cinnamon. Just give that all a stir and then we need to put that on the heat and bring it to the boil and then simmer it for about one hour and while we're doing that I've got some jars that I washed in the dishwasher. I'm just going to pop them in the oven about 50 degrees and just keep them nice and warm because we need to put them in um, sterilised jars. We need sterilised jars so the chutney doesn't go off, so they need to be hot when the hot chutney goes on. So they're all washed and we'll just pop them in the oven so they get to a nice temperature. And then we just need to put this on high, let it come to the boil and then I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for about one hour. Right, now our chutney has come to the boil. I'm just going to turn that down to about three, four, around about an hour so it's nice and cooked and it's a bit thicker. So just let that do its thing and just stir it a couple of times. Right, that's been on for an hour and it's smelling quite delicious. I'm just going to blitz mine up because I like it smoother. So I'm just going to use my hand blitzer here. Right, I'm going to get my jars are nice and hot. Get them out of the oven. We just need to pour the um, chutney into the jars, which I'm going to use my soup ladle because because the jars are so hot when we put the lids on that seals it all in and makes it nice and safe so it doesn't go off. And then this will be ready to eat with cold meat or. Uh, put on sandwiches, have with quiche, lovely and tasty. You want to put the jar lids on when they're um, hot, so I just get a tea towel on a cloth just so you don't burn your hands. And they're nice and tight and then you'll hear a little pop and it means that they've sealed. So that's our chutney made, really lovely and delicious and you can have it with crackers or in sandwiches, with quiche, however you like to have it. Hope you enjoy making it.